But what I want to do now is I want to actually talk about this idea called nugget writing. And so I think Audrey sort of raised a point here, which is an interesting one, to sort of say, over the course of working on your book, you're going to have a number of, in some ways, the best way to describe it, you're going to have a number of these, like, you know, number of moments along the way where something strikes you as like interesting, but not necessarily like directly related to your book. And so these are these sort of tangential connection points that may be really valuable. And oftentimes, maybe they're not a whole story, or maybe they're not a whole section or a whole chapter, but they can be really valuable. And so we call these nuggets, these nuggets that you find that inspire you in some way you might fit into. Again, Audrey talking about sort of reading into some of the stuff behind WeWork and saying, there's something here that I might like to incorporate in my book. And how you do it or what you do it will be powerful in the ways you do it. So the idea behind this one is to ask yourselves, you know, you may have something that came from an interview or a secondary interview or your personal life or the news that feels small. It doesn't feel like it could stand on its own. We talked about kind of the average story length. It's about like, you know, seven to 800 words. And you may have something that feels like, well, I don't know if this is more than a 200 word story. How do I do with it? So this is a way that you can incorporate those into something much more robust and more powerful through this idea called nugget writing. And again, I think a lot of people will use this one depending on the various type. And what you'll find is in this writing style, it probably will feel the most natural for what you've been doing with some of your prior paper writing and project writing and thesis writing is called nugget writing. So this is a way to use that style in the book writing you're going to do. So nuggets themselves are these elements that I would say are just these pieces of things that feel interesting but not sufficient. They feel like there's something. It could be a smaller story that you hear. Again, I heard something about how someone did something related to WeWork, if you're Audrey, or whatever it may be. Um, or there was that blog post you read that had a small piece of something that was interesting, but it didn't feel like big enough. Or you've got a personal story where something small happened in your life, and it feels maybe related to something else, but not sort of huge. Or a video you watch, or content you read, even like a clip from a movie could be powerful in that way. Again, these are nuggets where something interesting in them inspires you. And I think that's the important thing to understand is that you may be surprised by what inspires you. It doesn't necessarily have to be something massive and huge. It could be something very small. As you'll see, for me, a very small piece of something that I saw helped me in that way. So remember, think of it this way. Something that's inspiring, but it just doesn't feel like there's enough here, and you sort of dismiss it saying, I'm not really sure if I could do anything with this in my book. So what we're going to teach you how to do today is how to actually start with that nugget, that, that moment of inspiration, and build it into a full story, a full scene, or even something that could be a full chapter in that way.